that was a big thing with, uh, with Chris's reputation. Uh, you know, as a great coach, uh, you know, players wanted to be coached by him, and, and uh, you know, in, in a short time, we were able to, uh, to put together a championship team. And um, you know, it was spearheaded by uh, by Chris as the head coach, and uh, you know, it was uh, it was a great uh, you know a great time to uh, to be a Roughneck. Ch had become the head coach midway through '09, and said if I would give him three years, he could produce a championship team. So he was able to actually produce it in one year, and it was. Obviously, it was a phenomenal season, and, and it was a great experience watching him mold the players and, and getting to know him. Uh, 2010 was, was, was an incredibly special year. It was just sort of one of those years where, where everything fell into place, and uh, uh, Chris was our leader uh, on our team and uh, really, really inspired, I think, a lot of the players and gave us a lot of confidence, and his attitude was, uh, you know, expect to win and uh, that sort of uh, became contagious uh, for our group. Well, Chris Hall was really intense. Um, you know, a couple practices there, uh, you know, he'd, uh, he'd yell and scream at us, but uh, he, he had a really good job of explaining uh, why he was, you know, so, uh, so emotional. He, he always uh, explained everything when we were doing drills or if we were doing a play. He didn't just uh, pointlessly yell and scream. Uh, there was always a method to his madness. And...